Welcome to tonight's live TV show for the World Schools Football Cup 2023 here in Barcelona. We have plenty to get through tonight, but before we invite some of our very special guests, let's take a look at all the best action from day one and day two. Hello everyone, welcome. You can see so many faces from all over the world. As I said, we have 980 athletes. This year, as I said, more schools than ever will battle it out to win the World Schools Football Cup. <laughs> Okay, to get us started, let's everyone please welcome event organiser, Daniel Shields. <laughs> Daniel, it's been a fantastic two days so far. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the background behind this tournament? I believe this is perhaps the biggest one yet. Yeah, it's been great so far, first two days. Um, we are into year number three of the event. We've run this twice before. Um, as you say, this is the biggest by, by quite a distance. Um, we started in 2019 um, and then 2022 and now 2023, you know, we're up to around 900 athletes, 20 countries represented, um, over 60 teams, nearly 40 schools. You know, it's fantastic to see so many different athletes from across the world um, coming together to play football for three days. It's, um, yeah, it's brilliant to be here. Daniel, there's so many great things about this competition, but what's your favourite element of it? I think for me, you know, as a former, you know, we've all played football, but as, as, a, as a player at my school, getting the chance to play against teams you've never played before, you know, the different styles of football, the different, um, the different people you're coming up against, I think that, that opportunity for these young players to go out there and test themselves, you know, the facilities are, are second to none. Um, but on a football level, you know, going out there and playing against these brand new teams, brand new countries, and just seeing how you compare and if, if you can pick something up from, from some of these teams, just that element of it is, for me, the, the standout for this event. And just finally from me, Daniel, it's a, a big day tomorrow, finals day. What are you most excited about? I think, again, you know, just the chance to go and play against some new teams. I think it gets a little bit serious tomorrow. But, you know, from our perspective, hopefully everyone still has a good time. You know, we hope to have a smile on their faces. Um, they've all worked so hard to get to this point. You know, it's been almost a year in the making for some of these schools. So to go out there tomorrow, you know, there is trophies on offer. And obviously they're, they're here to win those trophies. But I think for us, the most important thing is go out there, compete really hard. But please, like, come off the pitch with a smile on your face, make new friends, and hopefully go back to school with some great memories and some great opportunity to, to develop as a player as well. Daniel, thank you very much for your time tonight, but also for all of your effort in making sure that the World Schools Football Cup happens. Ladies and gentlemen, please get up for Daniel Shields. Yeah, big day tomorrow, but we had a big day today as well with some absolutely magnificent fixtures. So let's take a look at who we picked for today's game of the day. Off we go then, more action in the World Schools Cup. It's under 13 boys, Group B, Churchill Community College and Obermeyer International School. Churchill Community in the pink, Obermeyer in the blue. For that, building that team spirit, allowing them to flourish, be fulfilled as individuals, and then nearly had a fulfilling moment there as they look for the opening goal. Added an extra dimension and flavour to the coverage we're providing you. But Obermeyer looked to be in the mood, it was squeezed forward, and the shot squirms under the body of the keeper, and it's the German team who have the lead, wasn't able to keep it out there. And that's a big moment for Obermeyer School. Great to see them go and celebrate. And it's a massive, massive moment for them. As they forged their way ahead in the fourth minute of the game. And here is 
the goal scorer. Churchill hoping to respond and it hits the inside of the puck. But it's good to hear that contented, excitable, youthful chatter. And all the, all the players warming up for their games as well. Here's a shot. Oh, what a magnificent strike. We'll not see a better goal than that in the World Schools Cup. That is utterly sensational. He's already tried it. Has Palmer. Hill. Ballinger. Could be a breakaway here though. Surely a third goal would settle the issue. Keeper came out well to foil Weberall. Harry Ray. That's a really good looking ball in. Played it with pace. It dipped just in front of the keeper. Next up we have Prior Park School Gibraltar against Safa Community School UAE but there's another one third goal for Obermeyer probably only be a consolation and here's the finish and they have got one back excellent Caden McKee the number four yeah fantastic game there a 3-1 victory for uh, you know a great German school we have with us Obermeyer International School 3 1 victory over Churchill Community College. Now, let's welcome to the stage one of the goal scorers in that game. Please give a big clap and a warm welcome to Lucas Uberell. Hello, hello. <laughs> Lucas, great to have you with us here tonight. First of all, we need to talk about that goal. Talk us through it. The referee gave me the ball, and then I saw Daniel uh, behind the um, defenders and then I thought yeah maybe I should like kick the long ball and then it worked and Daniel scored the goal. Brilliant. Can you tell us a little bit more about the background of, of your own team, you and all of, all of your teammates? How often do you play together? How long have you been together? And, and, and tell me what is it like to be part of such a brilliant team like, like Obermeyers? Um, yes, I'm very proud to be a part of um, Obermeyer International School. It's uh, for me personally, it's the best school that I could wish of. And um, yeah, we had training a few times before this tournament uh, tournament to um, yeah, like train for the big tournament. Yeah. Have you got a favorite part of this tournament so far? Maybe a, a goal that um, you liked or, or a match specifically? Y yes, I like uh, this ball uh, from me. I loved it. And yeah. One final question from me then. Mm -hmm. That's I've watched you you twice today. That's two very good results. Can you win it? Can you win the tournament? I think so. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucas. Now, Lucas wasn't the, the only man on fire in his side today. Can I also please welcome to the stage his teammate, Nicholas Muller? Nicholas, great to, to, to have you here as well. Just following on from what Lucas was saying, can you please tell us what it's like and how much of a, a, of a privilege is it for you to be part of such a, a great team here at, at Obermeyers? I'm really, really proud of my team and I'm so excited to be here and I couldn't imagine something better. It's a great start today and I hope that the luck will continue. Yeah, it's been a great time on the pitch. I, I watched two great victories for your side today. But it's been great off the pitch as well. You know, you have brilliant facilities here. What would you say has been your, your favourite part of, of this trip as a whole? Um, it's hard to say, but I love the moment when we won the first game today. It was like a beautiful moment. Yeah. And it's great to see that you have all of your, your brilliant teammates here. Um, supporting you. What does that say about the team spirit of your team? It seems like everyone here are really, really good, close friends. Yeah, I think through this tournament, we are getting closer and closer and getting new friends. And this is like the biggest important thing. Nicholas, thank you very much for your time. Thanks.
Great to hear from Nicholas and Lucas there as well. It's time to hear from one more player from Obermeyers because earlier today we caught up with a man that is on fire in front of goal. It's Daniel Bai. Daniel, you've just been named man of the match in your first game this morning. Tell me, how does that feel? It feels good and I'm really excited to play against schools from other countries and I score also two goals and I'm very happy. Yeah, you, you spoke there about the, the two goals you've just scored. I asked the referee, you said that you were fantastic all match. Have you got a, a personal highlight from the tournament so far? What would you say has been your, your favourite moment? The favourite moment when um, when I score a goal and then um, the, my teammates will will scream at me and <laughs> they will... Yeah, this one. Yeah, you've been, you've been so doing so well, you and your, your teammates. Is that a sign of things to come? Do you think, you know, after seeing that, you've got the confidence that you and your teammates can, you know, perhaps go on and, and maybe win this competition? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you got the confidence for that? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Now, um, it's been a, a great weekend so far. You get to spend the weekend in Spain, in, in the sun, away away with um, staying with all your teammates and, and your friends. What is your, your favourite thing off the pitch about this competition? Favourite pitch? No, your your, your favourite thing about this competition? The, be the best thing is to have fun with my friends and I, it's not really important to win but to have fun. I jump in. <laughs> yeah, thank you to Daniel for his time earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Two great goals in that game, but that was shortly followed in the next live stream by a very special individual who managed to score five. Yes, five goals in one game. Can everyone please welcome to the stage Lacey May Buckley. <laughs> Lacey, you have been on fire today. Before we get into any chat, let's take a little look at your own personal highlights from today. Angling the pass for... Lacey May Buckley and they're going to do the same oh, good control from the number 7 what a goal and they're in 7th heaven and here she goes again oh, she's taking on the whole team single handedly and the keeper uses the feet to good effect it's going to be another goal and now good work by Madison Peters oh and it's in it's a third. Keeper couldn't keep it out, and it's a side. World Schools Cup live stream. English delight at the moment. She might have a hat trick here, Buckley. She's going all the way through, and she scored three in just over eight. Oh, and that's it. The, well, the clearance deflected off Knowles from the keeper, and then it's ricocheted off the upright. I think the, the goalkeeper saw the funny side. There is one past her. It's a fourth goal. The individual performance of the tournament. Here she is again. She's going to get a fifth goal. She does. They're raining in. And it's literally, that they can't do anything about it. Power, panache, poise. Everyone, five fantastic goals from Lacey May Buckley. <laughs> Lacey, I have to ask you, if you pick up the mic, can you please tell us, how, how many is that today? That was five in one game. How many have you scored uh, for those? I've scored nine today. Nine. Nah. <laughs> Nine for the today. That's um, that's some tally. How do you do it? Don't know. Just sit the ball in that. <laughs> we we spoke earlier. You said um, you described being starstruck um, today when you arrived at the competition. Can you explain a little bit more about how how, how you feel playing a competition abroad and, and doing so well yourself as well? Well, I'm just I'm I'm grateful to have this opportunity to be here, and it's an excellent start to a new era I'd say and um, I just want to thank Churchill Community College for picking me for to do this. Yeah I'm, I'm sure there wasn't any competition when they when they when they'd come to picking you with nine goals <laughs> already Lacey that's very humble of you. Can you tell us what your, your own football background is like back home? I'm, I'm assuming you, you play out with school as well. Yeah I play for a team named Benfield and I've been playing since I was six years old and it started in school but then it moved outside of school and then continued from there. It's a big day tomorrow. What's next for you? What, what do you hope to achieve before before leaving camp? Well, at least reach 13 goals. <laughs> <laughs> on a personal level, but on a, on a team level as well, is there a particular stage of the competition you would quite like to get to? Well, I'd like to get you top three. 
Everyone, thank you very much to Lucy. Great to hear from Lacey May Buckley there, top scorer for the whole tournament so far on a whopping 13 goals. Now, we haven't had the chance to fit everyone into the show, but what we have been able to do is get our roving reporter Holden Daly out and around all of the grounds today with a special TikTok. Here's Holden. How's your experience been so far this weekend? It's been very great, the weather is amazing and I'm very excited to play football finally. Yes, and um, we went to the beach today, it was really beautiful. And we called for semis right now. When we scored one zero with Churchill. Oh, so yes, yes, when I scored the winning goal against Churchill the last hard. minute. Um, so far the experience here has been very well. Um, the schedule is very good, the timings are always right and I, I can't look forward to play. I can I can't I'm very excited. Um yeah, I can't wait. The best part about this is like all the coaches and all the players. Especially the people we're hosting with, so I, I have a thanks to them. This is a very good experience. It's nice to come to a new environment and overcome new challenges. Yeah, great to hear from Holden Daly and all of the players out and about at Football Salou at the grounds today. Um, now time for a special bit of entertainment. Yesterday at the opening ceremony, our eyes were blessed by the sight of world-famous multi-world record holder and TikTok sensation John Farnworth, who can join us now. John, brilliant to have you on stage with us. We enjoyed your company at the opening ceremony yesterday and it's great to have you um, with us again here. Great performance as usual. You're now right into the thick of the tournament. John, how much have you enjoyed this experience so far? It's been brilliant. The atmosphere has been incredible. I think that's due to the players. Honestly, like I've, from where I've been, I've sadly not been able to watch that many games. What I've seen has been phenomenal. But just to be able to share what I do with these guys has been incredible so I'm looking forward to tomorrow now. Have you got a favourite moment from the competition so far? Anything in particular that it doesn't have to be anything on the pitch but anything that you've particularly enjoyed? Um, apart from what I've just said I think it was quite quite entertaining this morning we, we ran a bit of a competition to see how many players could do around the world right <laughs> these guys smashed it by the way but it was so funny <laughs> they kept coming back they kept trying and within an hour I think we'd given away 10 prizes which shows like the determination of the players and their want to actually get better at freestyle and, and just be smiling with the ball so I think that was like a standout moment today for me yeah how impressive have you been with the talent and the skill on display in the matches because yeah. if, you, if you look around there are some top top footballers here 
top, top players, absolutely. I wish I was that good when I was that age. I mean, this tournament gives that stage, doesn't it, for them to shine and show the rest of, you know, well, different countries, the rest of the world, what they can do. But some of the dribbling out there, phenomenal. Obviously, some of the freestyle. So maybe we can see some of them skills again tomorrow in the in the games. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe not on Around the World. You might not get time for that. <laughs> but <laughs> and try. No, absolutely. But there, there's been some great skill on display, as you've said. So... Let's have a little look at it. We're running a, okay. a goal of the tournament competition um, okay. today, which John will be judging himself. So, I feel everyone, the pressure. <laughs> please take <laughs> a little look at the screen and John will decide which of the following goals is the best of today. But this looks the most likely deadlock breaker. More super skill and there's the opening goal. Acorns take the lead and it was a combination of Sundar Ania and then Zara Al Ashkar. Cook comes out to meet it. Oh, that's an outrageous goal. Fabulous hit. And it's Safa who lead. Well, take about Carter Boyle. It really is a joy to behold, but the young lads and lasses are absolutely privileged to be here and they're enjoying it and so too oh what a goal that is absolutely top draw from Harry Ray his second in quick succession but it's good to hear that contented excitable youthful chatter and all the, all the players warming up for their games as well here's the shot oh what a magnificent strike we'll not see a better goal than that probably only be a consolation And here's the finish, and they have got one back. Excellent. Caden McKee, the number four. Really impressive. Palmer. For Daniel B. Oh, wonderful finish. That is outrageous, and well, he might smile. Yeah, we got that on camera. Don't you worry about it, young man. Angling the pass for Lacey May Buckley. And they're going to do the same. Oh, good control from the number seven. What a goal. And they're in seventh heaven. By the World Schools Cup. Live stream. English delight at the moment. She might have a hat trick here, Buckley. She's going all the way through. And she scored three in just over eight minutes. Four nil. For No, it's 10. They've hit double figures. What a performance from James Wellington. Yeah, some top, top goals on display there. Everyone, come on. Let's, let's hear it for all those goals. Goals a tie. <laughs> but now for the moment of truth. John, which was your favourite? <laughs> it's tough, actually. I'm, I think C just edged it. The bar and in strike, great touch. And then, yeah, I mean, the keeper didn't have a chance. Yeah, so. That was goal C uh, from, I believe, Harvey Ray, yeah. who has some of his, yeah, yeah, some of his uh, supporters here. Is he here? No. Ha ha Harry, Harry Ray is not here, uh, but is, uh, he, he does have some, some teammates from Churchill Community amazing. College here. So. Yeah, what a goal. What, what was it you enjoyed so much about that? Just everything. Like, I mean, everyone here like, knows what it's like when you strike a ball, and it's so hard to do that, and especially in a game. It was, just seemed like effortless for him. And I think it always looks a bit better when he hits the bar and goes in as well. <laughs> but yeah, just an absolute screamer. Um, yeah, perfect technique. And um, like I say, keeper, no chance. Absolutely. Well, thank you to John, and thank you to everyone. <laughs> Yeah, so thanks to, to John, thanks to all of our lovely guests, thanks to all of our players, all of our officials, referees, everyone who has made the World Schools Football Cup all that it is. Thank you very much. That's all from me tonight. So thank you and good night.